Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm the store director of our Sephora King of Prussia location. I've been with Sephora for 14 years and after 14 years, I still get really excited about trying new products. I'm also a proud cancer survivor. Today, I'm gonna to be walking through a step-by-step -step complexion routine that really worked well for me when I was undergoing treatment. My goal for you today is to feel confident and beautiful, whether you're a beginner or a makeup maven. I know that I had to change my routine quite a bit when I was undergoing my treatment. Let's get started. I've already applied all of my skincare. To learn more about that, check out our Brave Beauty in the Face of Cancer tutorial videos. The first step in my complexion routine is primer. If you experience a lot of redness, you want to look for one that is a pale blue or greenish tint. If you're experiencing a lot of dullness, sallowness, or yellowness, something that's lavender is going to work best. Also, if you have any dark spots or discoloration, something that's peach is gonna be ideal. This is my personal preference, the Cover FX Calming Primer. It's ideal for my sensitive skin. During treatment, I would get really red and experience some blemishes. This really helps to soothe. It's best to pat instead of rubbing and tugging. You wanna be gentle. And you also just wanna make sure that you get a really nice, even application. Make sure you get in all the crevices of your face. And there you go, prepped and ready to go. All right, step two of my complexion routine is going to be foundation. But you can also choose a tinted moisturizer, a BB cream, or a CC cream. I highly recommend, if you can, going into one of our Sephora locations where one of our color consultants can really help guide you. Today, I'm gonna be using the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. This foundation has argan oil in it, which is very nourishing and hydrating to my skin. If you need an option that's more for an oily skin type, there's lots of options as well. For example, there's a Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation, which is gonna have a matte finish. Another great choice would be the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Wear. That's also going to be a more moderate coverage foundation, and it's gonna give you that matte finish. The tools that you use to apply your foundation are really important. We have the Pro Mini Flawless Brush and also the Sephora Dense Sponge. Both of these can be found in the Sephora Sands Kit. To start applying the foundation, I'm just going to pump on my hand, taking the Pro Mini Flawless Brush and working off my hand. What's important is to start at the center of your face in a tapping motion like so. When you use the mini flawless brush, this is gonna give you a little bit more coverage. It's gonna pick up a little bit more product. When I use the dense sponge, this is gonna shear it out a little bit more. So what I did is I took this sponge and I put it under my water faucet just to get a little bit damp. And I just made sure that I wrung out any extra water. This is really gonna help shear out the product. So if you want something that's a little bit more sheer and not so full coverage, this is perfect. And you can see this does a lot of the work for me. You also wanna make sure that you just bring it down through the neck, you don't want any lines. If you do need a little bit more coverage, just go ahead and get another pump of foundation. I'm gonna go in with my dense sponge. You're just dabbing right in there. I get a lot of redness on my cheeks, so that's why I'm applying right there. You can also put the makeup along your eyes. I have a little bit of discoloration on my eyelids. I do like to bring the foundation up over my eyes like that. And just blend, blend, blend. You want it to look like you don't have anything on. For someone like me who gets hot flashes throughout the day, setting powder really helps me. I'm gonna be showing you the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in the cap. What I'm gonna be using is that same dense sponge that I used to apply my foundation. It's still damp, just get a little powder on the sponge like so. I'm gonna apply it to the places on my skin that get a little bit sweaty. Along my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, right above my lip, and you can even go right on the chin. Setting your foundation with the powder is gonna give you also a matte finish. You can use our Sephora Stands retractable brush. It has the little heart Sephora Stands label right there. You can buff with the brush in the areas that you put the powder. Those hot flashes, they don't stand a chance. Before I go into my final step of my complexion routine, I can't go on without a little color in my brows. For tips and tricks on how to do your brows, be sure to check out our Brave Beauty in the Face of Cancer tutorial videos for brows and liner. 
The third and final step of my complexion routine is the glow step. This is my favorite step just to give a little glow and a little color to my complexion. I'm going to be using Tarte highlighter. It's called Stunner. And I'm just going to get a little on that fluffy brush. You want to put this on the high points of your cheek, just like that. Again, I'm just kind of lightly tapping to place the product there. And you can kind of see how it gives the perfect glow. The blush I'm going to be using is also Tarte. This color is called Blissful. When choosing a blush, usually the ones that look the brightest in the pan are the best because it's really going to give you a fresh, bright look. I'm going to be using the Mini Flawless Multitasker Brush. Lightly tap, just like that. Just apply to the apples of the cheeks and work into the hairline. If you use a bright pink, a bright orange, or a bright fuchsia, it's really going to give a bright effect to your overall complexion. Keep going until you get the desired amount of color almost in like a half moon shape towards your hairline. And it makes such a huge difference in your overall complexion, having that glow and that little bit of color. Another product that I wanna show you is the Ilia Multi Stick. I love this product. It's cream, ideal if you're very dry. Just do a little circle in the apple of my cheek like that. Then I just take my fingers and I'm just moving out into the hairline like so. This is glow and color in one. When choosing the right highlighter or luminizer for your skin, choose pearl for fair shades, champagne for medium, and bronze for deeper skin tones. I'm going to condition my lips using the Caudalie Lip Conditioner. I love this lip conditioner. It's so smooth. It has grapeseed oil in it. It's super nourishing and has a lot of antioxidants to protect my lips. When undergoing treatment, your lips can be really dry. I love the Bite Beauty brand. They're natural. I'm gonna be using our Bite Beauty Rhubarb. It's a really great rose kind of fuchsia colored lipstick. It just gives the perfect amount of color and really awakens my whole face. For a little added dimension and shimmer, I'm gonna use that Multi Ilia stick and just do it on the center. That completes my look. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more, check out our other videos in our Brave Beauty series, Skincare and Brows and Liner. Or join one of our free Brave Beauty in the Face of Cancer classes happening inside Sephora stores, where you can try these products on your own. Visit Sephora.com and search Brave Beauty to learn more. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget, subscribe to Sephora channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.